Bataille mais il aimerait des tours, hein? mais il a une expérience de femme de ça. Thank you for asking. Let's make it a fantastic day at Target together. Target? Mario's gonna talk at Target? Oh. So try again. Start again. What's the best thing for me to eat if I want to eat healthy? If you want to eat healthy, consider incorporating a variety of foods, vegetables, all grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats into your diet. <laughs> Some nutritious options could be salad with a mix of colorful vegetables, grilled chicken or fish, all grain pasta or quinoa, and fresh fruit for dessert. Remember to stay hydrated by... All right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. That, what you just saw there, was an AI hologram-powered Mario that was at this year's CES 2024. This event was held in Las Vegas, Nevada, and for what I'm hearing, there was a lot of virtual reality and AI-powered technology at this year's event. But seeing an AI-powered hologram of Mario is pretty strange, especially with that voice. Now, believe it or not, Nintendo are not the ones behind this AI-powered hologram of Mario. No, it was AARP and a group called Proto. AARP has started this new initiative called Age Tech Collaborative where they teamed up with Proto to put a lot of these different hologram AI things in different retail stores to promote different products. Here's an example of Howie Mandel in one of these AI holographic tunnels or whatever you want to call them and it looks like he's promoting a bonsai tree or something like that so this seems to be the wave of the future. Now, although AARP and Proto had Mario as one of their demos at CES 2024, and I still don't know how they did this without Nintendo suing them, they did provide a statement to Kotaku, so let's take a look at that. It says here, the AI hologram animation briefly seen today is an unfinished proof of concept tested for a client to demonstrate technological capabilities and innovation. It is not intended for commercial release. AARP and Nintendo were not involved in the inadvertent showing today. The fact that so many gamers of the world have taken notice shows that they are the best fans in the world and we salute them. Okay, um, that was a weird statement and look, I see a lawsuit coming because from my understanding, they had no permission to have Mario's likeness in this AI hologram. So I don't know, man. I don't know who approved this, who said it was okay or whatever, especially with that weird voice. Man, this is not good for them. I'm just going to say that because we all know how Nintendo is. They're very protective of their IPs. And for them to show this at a huge event like CES 2024. But hey, we'll see what comes of this. So with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And what are your thoughts on everything discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And please make sure to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock, where here we focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.